Josephine Mwamwini and Butsire Buira both told us their husbands were killed when the M23 armed group attacked their villages. Many people in this camp on the outskirts of Goma tell similar stories. Josephine says she went back to her village last week and found her husband dead among about 30 men who were killed with machetes and left barely buried in shallow graves. M23 killed him. As we were running away, they caught us and separated the men from the women. Many men were taken by the M23 in the bush. Most of them were killed, and my husband was among them. Democratic Republic of Congo's army says it's fighting Rwandan soldiers under the guise of M23. Rwanda's widely understood to back the armed group, although Rwanda denies it. The army has failed to stop M23's advances, and many people here question why the government hasn't done more to support its forces. They defeated M23 this time 10 years ago, but at the time they had substantial international military support and Rwanda was sanctioned. This time, an East African regional force is meant to help. Burundian soldiers are the latest to arrive, but it's not clear if any of the country's contributing troops have the political will or the resources to fight M23 or even Rwanda here in Congo. General Constant Dima is the third commander to take over Congo's military operation in less than a year, just as a regional deadline for M23 to withdraw is due to expire. Our position in Mbaya was attacked earlier today. This is why we have to repeat that we still have multiple violations of the ceasefire. M23 blames Congo's forces for breaking the ceasefires and denies committing atrocities in spite of mounting evidence. There are growing reports of mass killings and rapes from the hundreds of thousands of new arrivals in the camps. Butsire says her husband was trying to protect their herd of cattle last month when M23 fighters tried to forcibly recruit him and killed him when he refused. She says, we need help, we're suffering, and we can't go back to our farm. And she recalls all that she's lost. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Goma, Democratic Republic of Congo.